Okay, so after installing Java, we are all set to write our first program and compile and run it. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, step two. Wait, let me refresh the page. Yeah, so what we are going to do is we will be writing our first Java program now. Now we are going to use simple four steps. We will be writing our program, we will be saving the program, we will compile and then we will run. That is four step process that we have to do and this page has the detailed instructions for doing everything. So what I am going to do is I am going to simply run a program that we will create. So let me go to desktop first. So we go to desktop and after going to desktop I am writing a program in notepad. So I will open notepad space. I want to write a file named hello world or hello java. So what we should do is we will say public class that is the syntax for writing code and both these things should be in small case because java is a case sensitive language. After that we have to give a class name over here and I can pick any name that I want. So what I am going to write is I will call it let's say hello developer. So hello developer and after that we put two curly braces and this is where we write the class body. Now in a class what we do is we start by writing a main function. Now this is a syntax we have to follow public static void main and here we write string args. Now in this case also everything that we have written uh, should be written exactly the same with case sensitiveness uh, if we don't want to face any compilation errors. Then main will have a body similar to class starting curly bracket ending curly bracket. This is the square bracket these are the round brackets. So the sequence of brackets and all we have to follow and later on we will see in the course uh, we will get used to this syntax very easily. and eventually going forward we will not have to cram the syntax this will uh, automatically come from within fine so after writing this our goal of this program is we should be printing a message hello developer welcome to selenium so we'll write a message in system.out.println now system.out.println is a inbuilt function of java using which we can print any message on command prompt so here what we are going to do we are going to use double quotes because any message that we print we should put that as a string and here I'm going to write hello developer let me make it full screen welcome to Java and now after writing this program we have to save the program so let's go here say save as go to desktop and here one important thing to keep in mind is the file in which we are saving name of that file must match the class name that we have written and that too it should be case sensitive so if class name is hello developer so it should be hello developer dot java and we hit enter and that saves our code we can see on desktop there is a file created hello developer dot java now after writing the code in the file next thing that we should do is we should compile our code now we go back to command prompt we should make sure command prompt in command prompt we are on desktop where we just saved the file and here ideally to okay I ran a command cls this is to clear the screen cls enter so ideally in order to compile our code we should be running a command java c space hello now hello developer either I can type fully or if I hit a tab it will auto complete so that's the feature of this command prompt so I'm hitting tab key and we can see it has auto completed on my behalf the command full command now if I hit enter this command is not going to work I'll show you See, it says Java C is not recognized as internal or external command because this command prompt doesn't know where Java C is installed now the way command prompt runs any command is it uses a variable called path like if I say calc dot if I run simply calc see it launched the calculator now command prompt was able to figure out where the calculator is so there is a where command 
where calc if I write command prompt tells it is there in C Windows system 32 calc this path it is able to search because somebody has told to the command prompt that anytime somebody runs the exe you should search in C Windows system 32 and that setting is there in Windows is a path setting on Windows so the way to set path is we can again go to file explorer we right click we say properties and here we go to advanced system settings and here we go to environment variables and at the bottom in system variables we will find path now if I go and edit path in the end if I put a semicolon then I can put the path where my Java is installed so I can go to program files Java JDK go to bin and in the bin folder we have java c.exe we can see that now in path we just give the folder path we don't give the exe path fully so what we have to do is we have to give path till bin directory we'll copy this and we will paste in the end over here now make sure when you are putting the path you don't delete the previous value that is there because if we do that that will be a disaster that command prompt will not be able to search for any of the existing exes so whatever path values are already there we should leave them intact in the end we should put a semicolon and we should put a new directory now this setting that we are storing next time we launch a command prompt the command prompt will also start searching for any uh, command that we run it will also search in this bin so we will see that in a while I say ok here also ok here also ok now we have updated the settings on the system but this command prompt was launched previously earlier so this command prompt doesn't know that the new path has been added so for that reason what we have to do is we'll have to close this command prompt and we'll have to launch a new command prompt so if we write a new command open a new command prompt now if I go to desktop enter now here if I run the command where where Java C now we can see the command prompt is able to figure out it is there in JDK bin folder because we have set that in the environment variable path so what that means is we will be able to compile our file so if I say Java C space hello and hit tab it will complete the name and we can see right now there is only one file and we are going to compile that one file hello developer dot Java the moment we compile it if there are no compilation errors then we should see another file created here and the name of another file will be hello developer dot class that's the byte code so we hit enter and we see there is no error shown here and another file has been created now hello developer dot java if I open in notepad we can see the code but if I open dot class file hello developer dot class file which is this Okay, first of all it is not opening directly so we should do right click we should go to open with and we should open in notepad now we see this file is something that we cannot read I do a word wrap so this is a machine language file that only JVM can read and execute okay so now we have done with the we are done with the compilation part now let's go ahead and execute so we say java space hello and I can again do tab and this is the dot class now dot class has to be removed if we are running the code we hit enter and we can see the message is printed hello developer welcome to java now if we would have done dot class and hit enter it says could not find or load the main class hello developer dot class so what I mean to show this output is that this is a common mistake that people make in order to run the file they end up giving dot class file but we should give only the class name when we are executing the code when we do that our program will run successfully now one more thing to keep in mind is sometimes when we are writing the code we tend to make mistakes like we may make public as P as capital and I'm saving the code now if that kind of mistake is done and when we are compiling the code then what will happen is compiler will show the error compiler will say error identifier expected so it is saying something is wrong over here and that is wrong because we made public p 
uh, public uh, p we made it capital so these kind of mistakes if we make then compilation is certainly going to fail so in case you face any compilation related issues just make sure the casing is proper the words are written properly and the curly braces round brackets and square brackets are used wisely okay <coughs> so with that we winded up uh, uh, writing our own code compiling code saving code and running code now at the end of this tutorial i have also included an exercise uh, try an exercise where give the class name i am the best write code to print the message i am the best so you can uh, try that as an exercise give it a shot and see that in one go you should be able to save it compile it and run it successfully thanks for watching this uh, uh, we'll meet again in the next video